tutorial by Cuff the Genie and today we have something special for all the Dota fans out there. Well, we all come to a point in our life when we just want to run and hide and for this we are going to make the best item in Dota 2 for running and hiding that is a shadow blade. So I was playing Kunkka and Kunkka has this immortal shadow blade and I thought let's make that and hang it on my wall. So let's get started. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you two ways of making a shadow blade. The first one is going to be a foam board and foam technique. So I'm going to cut my print into a foam board and trace it out twice. Then I'm going to trace my pattern on foam. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to sandwich my foam boards between the layer of foam. Now this technique, you can go ahead and then add your details of the handle onto it. If you don't want to use Wobla, this is the way to do it. But I'm going to use Wobla, so I'm going to show you how to do the entire thing in Foam and Wobla. Remember to use the same pattern, again for the foam board technique. Now take two pieces of foam and glue them together nicely and secure them. And then I'm going to add two layers of foam on both sides of the handle to give it more of width. I'm going to take and trim off the edges of the blade to make it sharp. Once I'm happy with my design, I am going to take a piece of fobla and I'm going to heat it up before I apply it. Remember to always put the sticky side onto the foam. This is called the sandwiching technique in Mopa. Heat down carefully to avoid any air bubbles and then do the same on the other side. Sandwich your blade nice and easy and cut off all the excess. Now we're going to take a soldering iron and imprint the details of the handle. You can repeat this set with a, a Dremel but I found it super easy to be done with the soldering iron. While doing this, remember to trace your pattern on the reverse side for the second side of the blade. Now once you're happy with the design, glue it down to both the sides. And then I'm going to take a piece of foam and draw a pattern that I want for the handle's top frame. And then use Wobla as a clay to mold up the shape that I want. And then I'm just going to glue it down at the top of my blade. Now we're going to wrap the end of the blade with Wobla. The same technique that we did for the blade, we're going to do the same thing here, but we're not going to wrap the handle design part yet. We're going to leave that for later. So once we have trimmed off the excess and shaped our handle, we're going to take Wobla again and we're going to press it down onto our handle design. The reason we left this one for the blast is because this one has a bit more details and doing this will avoid a lot of air bubbles. I'm using a scissor for this one, but you guys can use whatever tool you want. Next step, I'm going to go in with a soldering iron and I'm going to engrave the printing on the handle. Now I'm going to use gesso to smoothen out the rough surface and I would suggest to use three layers of gesso for this but I'm just going to be lazy and use one layer. Paint the entire thing in layers of gesso and then we're ready for painting. So the shade of it goes from dark to light. Remember to blend in your paint while it's still wet. Once you're done with the blade and your handle, go in with gold. Let the first layer of the paint dry before you go in with your details. Now I'm going to add on the final details onto the blade. And we'll have our product ready. So there we have our shadow blade. As you can see, you can see all the engravings and details that come out really nice if you use a soldering iron. And it's a really nice cosplay prop or you can just hang it on your walls. I am gonna hang it on my wall. And if you guys want to see any more further cosplay tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and like us for more cosplay tutorials. I'll be back with more tutorials for you guys soon. This is Aaron signing off.